Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Hey, today i am got an item that's just been driving my wife crazy, so I'm going to fix it for her today and fix it for me too. And what I'm talking about are these safety nozzles on gas cans these days. They put these on here because the EPA doesn't want you spilling gas. However, some of the old designs were just as good. They have caps on them and, and they're just as safe and, and they don't spill gas either. Um, these are spring loaded, so they're really difficult. You have to kind of push and, and hold at the same time with your hand. And if you're trying to lift a heavy gas can and pour it in a, in a, a gas tank on a mower, it, you know, it has a tendency to spill all over you and not much of it get into the lawnmower. Uh, so today I'm gonna show you what I did to resolve this issue. And what I did was I went on Amazon and I purchased these old style nozzles. And this particular kit comes with coarse thread and let me pull this piece out here and fine thread. Just like that. I'm gonna kind of lay these things, everything that came with the kit. You get three nozzles. So if you had three gas cans, you'd have enough to do all three. You have some caps and three caps and three vents. So it's fairly simple to, to get this done. This, also, this kit also comes with a drill bit. So really the only tool you'll need is a drill uh, to attach your drill bit to because we're gonna use this for um, drilling the vent hole so that we can put the vent into the back of the gas can. And as you can see, there's no vent back here, okay? And I think that's also one of the reasons it makes these so difficult to use is because there is not a vent uh, to allow the gas to flow more easily. So here's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take this nozzle off and uh, I can tell by looking at the threads that it's a coarse thread. This is really pretty simple. Slide that through. You can see it has a gasket there. I'm attach it. So we're going to attach the nozzle here. And as you can see, it's threaded here on the top too. This kit comes with some uh, little rubber washers. And uh, what they're for is to put inside the cap here. So just, oh, that one's a little small, I need the bigger one. Drop it in and you can see you just thread it on there tight. And you can see no gas comes out, isn't that a miracle? So the last thing that you need to do is you got to install these little vents and they're super easy. All there is to it, just take the drill Pick you a spot like right above where the level would be. Drill you a little hole. You can see it's got a little tip here on the end. You just push it in with your thumb. It's a little difficult because you want it to be tight. There it is. Pop the cap on it. No gas comes out there either. And guess what? That's all there is to it. Now I'm going to do it on my five gallon too, but that, that solves the problem. So now when you need to pour gas, you can just take the lid off. And the one thing I like about this one versus this one, this is fixed. So you can't bend it. This one, you can bend. You can bend it this way, that way, you know, whatever. So that when you're pouring, it just is a whole lot easier, stays in the, the tank and uh, you've solved your issue. If it's not flowing, Fast enough with the vent closed, just pop the vent open and it gives you a faster flow. So if you were filling up, if the gas tank was empty and like say you had a riding mower, you might want the flow to be faster because most of those have larger uh, tanks on them. If you're just doing a push mower, maybe you don't need it. Maybe you only have a, need to fill it up half the way so you don't necessarily have to open the vent. But that's it. Okay, so I'm going to put a link in the description below just in case if you're interested in anything like that, you can just follow the link and it'll take you uh, to where I purchased it from. Um, hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, make sure you put it in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to hit the 
thumbs up button. That really helps the channel. And most of all, subscribe. And until next time, stay safe.